So tomorrow at Friday at is it at eight EST or is it later than that? It was eight fifteen. Eight fifteen. Starting fifteen minutes late. Um, eight fifteen EST. We're gonna have Fat Booty Inspectors versus Team Name Pending for Rampage Open Finals, best of five. And so in this podcast, um, we're just gonna go over individual players and who we think will like win solo lanes and also like impact the game more in terms of like jungle and stuff. Then we'll talk about teams as a whole, their strengths and weaknesses, and then we'll do everyone's favorite thing at the end, which is predictions, who we think is going to win the series. Before we start, we're going to just go down the line and introduce ourselves and uh, just say what team we're from. So we'll start with Rap. Yep, so I'm Rap16, jungler for Fat Booty Inspectors. I am 2C2G, and I'm the jungler for TMP. And I am Unbound. I didn't play in Rampage Open, but I'm here to support my Rampage. All right, so Smug, are you like afraid to say your name on stream? <laughs> uh, I could. It's just a long. It is. Say it. Say it. Well, I'll, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to say it in a second anyway. So let me introduce the team. So I'm Fat Booty Inspectors. We have Feathers and Fur, Rap Sixteen, Canada, XX Canada XX, Captain Booty Ho, and Major Booty Hole. And then on team name pending, we have a lot of good names to say today. Polar Bear Minion, Too Cute to Gag, Noble, Get Merch, hopefully I'm saying his name correctly, and then Prince yeah, yeah. Poochie. So, we'll start with just going over roles first. So, we'll just go top to bottom. So, for top lane, Feathers and Fur versus Polar Bear Minion. Who do we think, without like any jungle interference, just 1v1, who's, who's winning this lane? Feathers, light work, easy. No way. <laughs> Come on, you can't be serious. Come on, Isn't bro. Feathers a... It's allowing... Be in Urga, right? I mean, yeah. I yes. Mean, we're spice. I mean, we're spicing it up a little bit. But... I I looked at Feather's last game, like series, and he played Urga every game. I was like, did he really pick Urga every game? He did. I mean, they left it out. We won yeah. two games in a row. I was row. like, they shit. Left it, so. He picked Urga every game. Respect. So we think Feathers is winning. I don't know. I looked at Polar Minion. I don't think and no way. Polar Bear Minion looked really like he looked like he was carrying. Yeah, he smashes. I mean, but yeah, that they're thing. playing though. We have to what? You have to look at the teams they're playing. Like, I mean, if you Agreed. look at every game we've played, Feathers hasn't lost lane in a single game. So it'll be a good matchup. Maybe we're oh, 100%. Maybe, maybe it's like a toss up as to who wins, or like maybe it depends on who gets like their champ. Because it seems like Polar Bear Minion plays a lot of Kennen. I, I saw Kennen a lot. I don't know if that's like on his solo queue, but I did see quite a bit of that in playoffs. Yeah. They and played then... Kennen against well, I... those. We had to bring did it up we? in the. Dominate podcast, but there's a new patch this week, so that's true. So we can it all about, depends. So you can mix that all in the too. new top lane meta. Yeah, so I think what we said on Dom was that carry or like bruiser carries kind of suck now. Cause I know like, Rampage players are a lot more open to playing tanks. So, so yeah, no one. I don't think it is. Wait, does Feathers play well, tanks? Feathers doesn't. I mean, Feathers plays. Yeah, I don't think either of these two top laners play <laughs> I tanks. I don't think there's gonna be any tanks. I mean, like, it's like a hybrid. You don't think so? You have you have Urga, which is like a hybrid. Well, he's tank. like he's like a well. Is he like bru? I don't know. What is Urga considered? Like, is he a bruiser? Or bruiser. Is he, yeah. I'm thinking yeah. bruisers are okay too. Along yeah. those lines, tanks. I... Those are probably what you're gonna be looking towards mm-hmm. in this new preseason. Yeah, it seems like if you're like a bruiser that doesn't actually conquer, you might be okay. Since conquer got it got changed or nerfed, I'm not sure which one. I don't ever take that keystone. So, um, but yeah, it, like when I looked at the at least for like what I just cr- scroll quickly through, it didn't seem like either of them played like traditional tanks. Like it was like cannon KO. Mm. Or got a Lowy if, but mm. like feathers is never gonna get a Lowy. <laughs> at least I hope not. Yeah. <laughs> that would be um silly if he got a Lowy. Wait, so what is feathers? Well, like maybe you don't want to say what his pick is. What else has he picked? Has has Urgot ever been banned? Has he had to like go into a third I mean, champion yeah. before? Urgot's been banned. I mean, I can't think of any on the top of my head, but I mean, like I said, it really doesn't matter what champion he gets. Like he's just winning. It's it's feathers. Let's let's be honest. Feathers, yeah. He he's a he's like a lane player. Do either our teams? He played Chogoth like... once, right? Okay. Yeah. Rampage. There's, there's a tank. champion, by the way. Wait, what? Rip. Page open champion, by the way. Oh, he is, yeah. With a uh, roar, forgot about that. Um, do either teams gank for their top laners, or is it like an island? It's hard. I mean, to, it's hard it's, to tell from match results. So like, I, I yeah, can't tell it, from it's that. It's game sense. I mean, mm-hmm. like, I don't just say yeah, gank top lane. Like, I mean, it's all dependent on the game itself. Okay, so you're not like hard camping a lane, like every nah, every nah. game. Okay. 
Oh wait, wait oh, and both of, I forgot you guys are you're both a jungler, so this is great. Yeah. I feel, like, I feel like this is like a good. These are like this is like the good players have on a podcast because they can talk about the map map too. All right, so it seems like for top we think some like feathers. The plover also looks good, so it might just depend on the champs that they get. Also, might depend on the patch. Um, I'm gonna lean feathers also, just because I've played against recognizable mm -hmm. name. I've seen a little bit of what's his name? Polar bear. Minion. Polar bear menu. I've seen TNP play twice now, but I think he's all right. It just depends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen. I mean, I know feathers well. I don't really know polar bear, so like what I went off of was just match results. Um, so I'm honestly not sure who wins the matchup, but I think like d just based on the champs they play, it'll be interesting either way, like in that solo lane. All right, so we go to jungle. So we have both the junglers here. Rap 16 and cute, too cute to gag. Um, so in this role, who do we think is impacting the map more, and do we think the like patch changes are gonna affect one of the like either jungler badly? Did did the patch like nerf someone's uh pool? I don't know how's Jarvan this patch. Um, I played against the Jarvan. He was still annoying, so <laughs> he's probably fine. I mean, I see TNP, especially last week. They picked Kha'Zix a lot first. I saw that a lot. Yeah. So that how's like Kha'Zix? Kha and... Does Kha'Zix have a fast clear? Uh, I'm like brain dead when it comes to jungling. I don't know. You know, I saw. I wish I could remember what tweet it was. I someone's tweet earlier. Some like high challenger player had like a tweet of like what he thought was the best junglers, but I can't remember where Kha'Zix was, like in the like hierarchy. I know like he had Nunu. It's like Nunu. Nunu was like S plus plus plus. On That's true. And then two other champs, but I'm forgetting which ones. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't play jungle. Um, I know the changes like they the camp spawn faster. No. Red sides like the uh, ketchup XP is really Okay, yeah, ketchup XP is like if you get behind, you're kind of just behind the jungler now. Um, mm -hmm. So it seems like you have to be a little smarter with ganks. Like if they go, really, if you get like a lot of bad ganks, you're just going to be behind like for a majority of the game. It seems like in jungle now. Um, are you guys both gank heavy junglers, or do you prefer to farm, or like a mix of both? I mean, definitely, definitely a mix of both. Like I said, it's all dependent on game. Like, if if I know lanes can can hard play against each other, and I can just stick in the jungle and get my farm, like that's what I'm gonna do. But if I know I need to get into the lanes and make an impact, then that's also what I'm gonna do. So, what about you, Smug? Seems like you sometimes Same. you sometimes you because you play Karthus sometimes, which is more yeah. Of I like play Karthus and Ivern, but I also play Rek'Sai. Yeah. So. so it just depends on the champ you get. Depends on what I'm playing. Yeah. It depends on what we're all playing. What about the are you are you prioritizing the bot side for dragons? Um honestly I put like two games this patch, so I have no idea. We're gonna <laughs> scrim after yeah, this and we're gonna figure it out. Oh, that's good. I'm an ADC player, so I feel like with this new patch with the new dragons, everyone is just like they're out for you now, even more. I know I sort of I've been four man gank bot so many times. It's going to be like 10 games in this patch. It's so ridiculous. Dude, I played four games yesterday. My jungler didn't come bot once, and the enemy jungler was just in my lane. I'm like, uh, god damn it, come get the dragons, please. They're open. I thought the first two like weren't important, though, because they aren't like the... I feel like it's so snowball-y. Like, I feel yeah, like... I have no idea how it works. With, so. Elder, I just the the with, <laughs> with, Elder. with the catch of XP, I feel like whatever team is getting the dragons, if you're behind, you can't really contest for them, because mm -hmm. you're behind. So yeah. it's so hard to, like... Whatever team is getting the dragons and getting the, uh, the objectives yeah. is just gonna win. Also, the elder buff. I mean, I, like, I feel like it might be difficult since the games. The elder buff right is kind of insane. It is insane, but the games right now, like, right, it, se it seems like right doesn't want people to get to that point. Like, they don't want teams to get to that point, like that long in the game. Mm -hmm. But then again, it's rampage, and sometimes those games tend to go longer. Um, so like that could also be a factor. Is if one team's getting five dragons, I feel like the game is just over if they get elder. Yeah, it's like it's just over. like <laughs> the damage is crazy. The true damage. Uh, and then Rift is it Herald, bugged? Uh, it is. I'm hoping it's not bugged tomorrow, because that might be a problem. But I was seeing on Reddit that it was bugged. Like the, it was like not. It was like executing people higher than it was supposed to. Yeah. Like oh, not, great. not at 20% or lower. Like above 20% or lower. So hopefully that's not, that's fixed. Or hopefully it just doesn't get to that point. <laughs> um, and then Rift Herald spawns twice now, which is also interesting, and it also spawns sooner. 
Yeah, was it like six minutes? Yeah, so another interesting point, like, could also make a play for Rift Herald if you, you know, are losing. That's the one that makes things snowball well really quick. Yeah, for plates, for sure, especially now there's two in the game. Like, if yeah, you, you can get, just if you take get two, two towers Herald, for free. That's kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. Um, so, for champ pools, do you guys play, like, a multitude of different kinds of champs, or do you kind of stick to one kind of champ when you play? I mean, I play Jarvan okay. and a couple other champs, but, yeah, I mean, the pool's been pretty pretty consistent the entire season, because teams haven't been banning me out, they've been banning out Feathers, banning out other team like, other players on our team, so, I mean, it leaves me free to pick, but last, last, uh, playoff match they actually banned me out one game and still oh. got a champ that i was good on so oh nice so you kind of just been chilling uh, letting, oh yeah I mean, letting your team like letting said, your teammates take the bands that's, that's exactly a, that's I mean, a good the, feeling when you have a whole team that's good like it's good to mix around the bands because it allows someone to be free so mm -hmm. what about you smoke I, I think i played eight champions this season so okay. that's a lot. i got a clyde game in there i didn't get a morgana <laughs> game unfortunately <laughs> but you play morgana jungle <laughs> I think I've yeah. tried. I think I've tried. That I got once. that last season. I'm pretty sure, but I didn't get it this year. Yeah, I've tried. I want to see. Once. I want to see some Thrush jungle this weekend. Thrush. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? What is it? What's his name? I forget. What, what is um. It? I can't think of his name. That guy's my favorite person. I wish I could remember. His what name. is his name? The guy who played Thrush jungle like two games in a row. Yeah, I think it's like Daddy Atlas now. I don't yeah, remember what his Atlas. name is. His name's Atlas. Yeah, that guy's a legend. I want to see Zyra jungle. If you're playing Morgana jungle, <laughs> just play Zyra jungle. I'll look into it. <laughs> yeah, definitely play that against us for sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, well, let's I think go. It's the Galio Jarvan I've got. <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe not. Okay. You get build his onions. Alright, let's go to mid. So, for mid, we have XX, Canada, XX, and then we have Noble. Um, So, mid lane, went like top lane. Who do we think is first, like, winning their lane 1v1 and who do we think might be different, might be the other person? Who do we think is roaming more and, like, helping their team? on the map early game it's definitely canada right because definitely no one really plays Mazahar every game <laughs> Does I mean, play... I, I pretty saw, much every game yeah, i think I, we got I saw, I saw some Malzahar. we got a klepto anivia game in there and alessandra game that was random nope. like just locked random champion did he play Malzahar all four games last week he did i think so yeah he's like feathers but every game crown, they'll play because he's never gonna get banned all right, so Noble's a Malzahar player, so probably not. Lane neutralizer. He's neutralizing lane. He's not winning it. What does Canada play? I mean, Canada's Galio. He played Renekton. Oh, like, resident sleeper. Akali. Oh, no. Akali. I mean, oh, so Kiana. He, I think one he, game. Oh, so he likes the assassins, bruisers. I like. mean, yeah, and but like I said, his lane presence. Oh, Swain. Like Swain, Swain, Swain. Oh uh, my god. I don't think he he played Swain once. Maybe. He beat us with Swain. It'll give me nightmares. <laughs> Because I know our bot lane plays Dude, Swain, a good but... Swain is Yeah, you guys have a Swain bot pick, and then you have a Swain mid pick. Mm. That's a good flex. Swain bot, baby. Yeah. Does he... And they they dominated on it, so... Does he play control mages ever, or is he more like an assassin? Like, bruiser? Yeah, kind of assassin person? bruiser. I mean, okay. really doesn't play many mages and everything, so... So, who roams more? Is Noble just kind of Canada. under his turret? Yeah, it's definitely he's... Canada. Okay. That, that would yeah, make sense. That's like their style. Yeah. Canada's so too good place. at getting other lanes. Is he roaming? With, is he like roaming with jungle, or is he kind of just like yeah. roaming on his own? No, to be honest, like there's there's cases where I'm I'm topside and the man's just roaming bot lane and he just does it as if it were me. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's why it's so good because I can gank top while Canada's ganking bot, and somehow Canada doesn't lose XP, lose farm. Like, it's crazy. Rampage. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe maybe he's good at knowing when to move and when not to move. Yeah, normally yeah. he's laying up. It's hard to push the try game. to make plays. Like the plays just come to him. Honestly, like that's what we were talking about after last series. Like he just organically sees plays like throughout the game that no one else sees. It's crazy. Yeah, huh. I'm excited to watch him now. I don't think I I don't know if I watched you guys play it or not. Maybe I one, haven't either. Maybe, maybe like one or two games. Um. So it seems like. Canada definitely wins mid lane, but maybe if Noble can somehow neutralize, I don't know if that's possible because it seems like Canada has a, like plenty big champ pool where he's not going to get banned out or like get on something he's not comfortable with. Um, mid lane, what you guys said before that jungle just it just the ganks just depend on 
around like the game and match. So you're not really, you're not like camping Canada, kind of just yeah, letting exactly. him do his own thing. I mean, just as like feathers, I don't, really don't have to commit a lot of resources. But if the game calls for it, then you change up your style, change up your plan. I mean, it's pretty simple. Mm -hmm. Are you ever helping Noble Smog, or is he kind of just like chilling under his turret? Um, I will sometimes, but it depends a lot on who I'm playing. Like, if I'm playing Rek'Sai, then it's helpful. Like, level 6, it's like always a kill, pretty much. Yeah, because if he's pushed in, that makes sense. Yeah. Alright, well, let's move to the bot lane. So we'll discuss the bot lane together, since the duo is so important. So for ADC, on Fat Booty Inspectors, we have Captain Booty Ho, and then Major Booty Hole for support. <laughs> and then on team name pending, we have Get Merked and Prince Pucci. So I guess we can talk about first, like, who's winning 2v2, and then since support's still so important in the lane, which support do we think is making more of an impact, um, like, in lane? Like, who's getting advantages? So my question is, how long ha has FBI's bot lane been playing together? Yeah, because you they're brothers I mean, or something, right? Yeah, you have you have the booty bros, so I mean you can't <laughs> you can't beat that combination. I mean, and didn't one of them come bot go to bot lane so they could play together? Um, I thought like, I, I thought I thought someone together. Yeah, like I th some I thought one of them said they'd like switch to one of those roles so they could uh play bot lane together. I'm not sure. It was on the last podcast that I remember, I'm pretty sure, but I don't remember anything. Okay, yeah, I think one of them said that. So how long is this Get Merch and Prince Pushy's first time playing together? Yeah, I mean, it's been three months at this point, but yeah. Okay. Um, so who do we think is winning 2v2? Booty based on, is based on, like, the champs they play or, like, how they play <laughs> the Depends on what you pick. No, I mean, I don't think it depends on what you pick. Like, <laughs> you can look at every stat throughout the entire season. Our ADC is the best ADC. I mean, and I've been saying about the other rules, but truly, our ADC is the best ADC in the, in Risen right now. Rampage. But you can just say that about every role, right? Well, <laughs> you I mean, win all yeah. your games. I mean, you could about FBI, actually. But I'm saying, like, I've said it about our other roles, but truly, our ADC is the best ADC in the league right now. Is he good because of his support, or is he just, like, good on his own? I don't know, dude. I no, wasn't I mean, impressed. because when, when laning ends, I mean, there's times where he's by himself, or when we're playing 5v5, like, he's making plays that, I mean, it's just, yeah, it's crazy. Mechanics are very good. What kind of stuff do they play bot lane? Are they like engaged supports? Silver, Zyricon. 100% Zyricon. Morgana. Okay, first pick Morgana I mean... against us? I don't know what that was. <laughs> Wait, first pick I mean, Morgana is so we... good. That's a good pick. That was cursed, dude. <laughs> Unless the enemy team plays like a mage or maybe like an enchanter, Morgana first pick is really good. Yeah, I mean. You can't, I mean, you can counter her with, with mages, but. If, if they don't play mages, then it's a good pick. That whole, that whole game was cursed. You ganked bot level 2 as a Mumu? Yeah, did it, did it work? <laughs> I hate when junglers yeah, do did that. It work? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it worked. That's my nightmare. Lane Jungler push, ganking. I come through the, I come through the bot lane. I think I blacked uh, out when rush. that happened. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, it happens. Uh, what does the TMP bot lane play? I feel like they play engaged supports too, right? Or I might be thinking. Yeah, that. he plays. He plays like everything. He played Karma against them last oh, okay. time we played. Karma, but good, he plays good Morgana, against Morgana. Good Nautilus, against Morgana. Um, Brown, Nautilus, Lina, and Gragas. Oh, Gragas, I like that. You don't. I don't see that pick too much in Risen for a support. I think that's everything. Nautilus is very broken. <laughs> that champ's annoying. Very. Um, all right. So in lane, I mean. I haven't seen, like, I know of Prince Pucci, but I haven't really seen him play much. Um, well, I haven't so... played against him in, like, two seasons now. Uh -huh. So I don't know how much better he is, or even worse he is, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I haven't seen these bot lanes play, so it's hard for me to say. I mean, like, looking at the match results, it seemed like I don't remember. FBI's bot lane got ahead a lot, but it also seemed like TMP's bot lane was good, too. So let's might be another interesting lane to watch like a uh, top lane does Pucci play uh nico i don't know dude oh, he plays God. everything i was gonna say I, I i remember i can't remember if it was our series or another series but the support played nico and that support was very good so if, <laughs> if it was Pucci, then i mean he's, he's pretty having good. nightmares nico's a board spun um and then out of lane are both adc's good at team fighting yeah, I think that's where their ADC is like better. Mm -hmm. Oh, for sure. Yeah, like, I mean, like in lane, I was super like whatever. Like especially looking at the match results, every game it's like holy shit, like these people must be smashing. But then it was just like fine. I mean, in lane, it's so support like dependent. But like I feel like in team fights, it's where ADCs like get to show. 
Like how yeah, much, you guys create so much space because your front lines are always huge. And it's like, all right, well, Sivers just hitting for free. <laughs> so this seems like it could be a toss up. I don't know. I feel like top lane and then bot lane probably the two most interesting. Like the two lanes that will be interesting to watch. Um, since it seems like mid Canada kind of just, you know, is pushing Noble in. I think I'm leaning towards FBI just because they already have the synergy together. That's true. Or knowing each other. The brothers. I mean, we make the rules. I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> you say this? All right. Well, any other thoughts about individual, like players individually? I think any... drafts are going to be interesting. Any subs probably be the most or, or, or like these are lineups? I mean, that's going to be our lineup. Okay. So. Yeah, Good to know. Yeah, I think draft will be interesting. I think draft will like might determine somewhat who's winning like in top and bot i don't know about mid i don't think mid like draft will really matter in mid but like top lane it seems like it um will will matter depending on what they yeah. get and like what's there's a good the jungle too mm, yeah jungle too since this is because since of like the patch changes there's a good handful of players i actually recognize in this final yeah, I'm excited too. about that. Yeah, there's like like feathers, rap. I know you've played before. I know you like smug, yeah. noble, noble prince. prince. I think even get Merc has played before. Like this name. I think so. Familiar. It looks familiar. I don't know if Poirot Minion has played before, and I don't know yeah, if Canada so. has. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of familiar yeah, it's good names. Which, yeah, which is fun. Like fun for finals, especially if they're just, especially since they're on like they're kind of just like mixed together, on mm -hmm. open teams. All right, well let's go to the teams as a whole. Um, so we'll just go down the line starting with rap. So just you can say like one strength plays. Yeah, I thought maybe your name sounded familiar, Canada. You played season three. Okay. Um, so just for both teams, say like one strength, one weakness. This this is the time you get to praise the enemy team. Probably the only time uh, you'll praise the enemy team. Um, so just give one strength, weakness for both teams, um, like as a whole. Okay. So basically, FBI strength dynamic. I mean, obviously, like I said, we just are able to change up everything within every single game. If it's not the champions we're changing, it's the style we're playing in that game. And our weaknesses, we don't have weaknesses. I mean, <laughs> okay, well, you got you got to give one. Weakness. <laughs> there's there's got to I mean, be. I mean, with the way the season went, to be honest with you, the only weakness I can see was last series. It felt like we got out drafted. Like it, it felt like they had a coach helping them draft. Okay. But we still won the series, so I don't know how that works. But I mean, just because yeah. you have a good draft, you know. Well, no, we got out drafted. Well, no, that's well, that's that's what I mean. You can you can beat good drafts. Yeah, yeah. I mean that's fair. It, like play, if a team if a, that. if a team doesn't know how to play a draft, they've been like drafted. Um, especially like it's much easier to beat them if they're like on something. If they're just like playing OP picks, they don't really know how to play, which sometimes yeah, people fair. fall into that trap. Okay, what about TMP? For I mean, strength? No, no, for rap. Yeah, strength yeah, weakness like for uh, for TMP. I mean, like I said. I don't know much about their team because, I mean, we're just playing games. Um, like I said, the support, if, if he was the one that played Nico, their support was really good. So, I mean, that's the one strength I can say. I'm not sure. I mean, yeah, that's that's all I can say about them, really. And then a weakness. I mean, I think the weakness has got to be their jungler. I mean... <laughs> Not, I mean, I'm not trying to throw it out there, but not the not the Melzar <laughs> mid player. <laughs> I mean, yeah, no, sometimes I mean... Smug is a little streaky. Sometimes, I... <laughs> no, I'm just playing. But like I said, the the team in general. I mean, there's a reason they're in the finals. So, mm -hmm. all right, Smug. You want me to give theirs first? You can do. I you can start with whichever team you want. Okay. Um. Uh, I think that for, especially from playing them and watching some of their games that they create a ton of space for their bot lane just by getting ahead early, mm -hmm. mostly through mid. Um, and it lets them, like they kind of have multiple players that you want to ban out. And so ever, someone's going to get what they want, um, which is also our strength. Uh, we generally have, we have like seven champions that you want to ban in the first three. So... And then I think for our weaknesses, um, we were only behind, like, we've only been behind three games the entire year, so that probably is the thing that we're bad at. We can't play from behind, because oh, um, we've never had to. Mm -hmm. um, for their weaknesses, I think that, he said they play a lot of styles, but honestly, it's pretty much always the same stuff. 
it's some kind of dive, and then this ADC who can be a little bit safe and then win the game. So Nocturne, Amumu, Galio, Ergot, Alawi for Wayne. Ew. <laughs> Except it's probably always banned. Yeah, it right. should be banned. That makes sense. All right, Unbound. All right, so what I'm thinking here is that I still think the biggest new player in like these this like this like preseason is like definitely the dragons and the objectives. Mm. And I think FBI is gonna have the advantage just because like in mid lane, if Noble is always like on Malzahar or like under his turret getting pressured by Canada, I don't know how well TNP is gonna do in these like objective um, rotations. Kind of, kind of. It's gonna be about who like whoever whatever jungle mid duo gets ahead. So they can help out their bot lane and all that. I still think top lane is kind of doesn't matter a whole ton. It's still important. <laughs> yeah, they can just stay on their own. So, but it's mainly like the jungle mid. Who's gonna help out their bot lane? Who's gonna get the objectives first? And who's gonna snowball the game? And I think FBI has a slight advantage in that. Just taking preseason into consideration. All right, anything for, I guess, TMP? Like a strength? Seems like you said the weakness might be their objective control. Yeah. Cool. So any strength for a TMP? Any strengths? Hmm. I'm trying <laughs> to think back to when I was watching some... My... Let's see, where is their... I mean, I liked how when they do get ahead, they know how to play around their carry. Okay. So, like, whenever Polar Bear finishing that series, they definitely knew that they had to play around him to win. Mm -hmm. And I like that a lot. I think they if they get ahead, they they know how to snowball their advantage, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, it seems like uh, when I was looking, well, just looking at match results, which doesn't always total picture, but it seems like the top jungle yeah. for TMP is... So, like really good usually and solid. Yeah, like it seems like their strength is in the like the top like the top half of the map. Um whereas for like FBI it seemed like and that's this is not to knock feathers. I mean like the games looked like he played Argon every game. <laughs> so like I don't know what to go <laughs> off of. But like it seemed like their PK bot... would be proud. Yeah, he would be proud. It seemed like their bot lane was kind of like the shining star. And then like yeah. mid as well if he's like getting rims off. So I'm like it seems like they're for like teams it's kind of like the opposite map like where they're playing on the map um for their teams which should be interesting for the series all right well now we've come to everyone's favorite part the predictions so we'll just go down if you're looking at if you're not looking at the google sheet i have smug unbound rap and then me in order so we'll just say the score we think it will be and then who we think is going to win so we'll start with you smug uh, I think we have to win or lose 3-1. I don't okay. think there's any other way. <laughs> so you think if it goes to game 5, you you can't take it? Um, the, I think the only way it would go to game 5 is if something unexpected happened. Okay. But maybe that's good for us. Yeah. Alright, I'm bound. Okay. So I'm going to go 3-1 FBI. I feel like this final is a lot like last season's with uh, Tortugas and Squidward's house. Yeah. Where it's definitely... Uh -huh. The two best teams in the league going up against you. You guys are both undefeated, right? We lost to them. That was it. Well, that was in like the um. That was in the. It was like after regular season. Yeah. Yeah, it was in like the season. So technically, you're still undefeated, but I definitely it was like that in last season too. But I think F they probably had the stronger bot lane, the stronger mid. Kind of like how TT had last season. Mm -hmm. I just think they probably have the stronger players right now. I don't know. Maybe it could go five games, new patch. Never know what's gonna happen. So right. maybe, uh, maybe TNP cooks something up. <laughs> they got something spicy. All right, wrap. I think that it's gonna be three one FBI. Obviously, um, I think the only thing that's gonna throw a toss up in the game is just gonna be the new patch. Like he said, like I definitely think it's gonna make a difference because obviously we haven't had a lot of time on it to be able to focus. I mean, I haven't even played a new game on the patch, so. It's definitely going to be interesting, and I think that'll be the only thing that'll make a difference. All right. Well, I'm going to I'll tie it up and say 3-2 TMP. I want a five-game series. I always want a five-game series in finals. Oh, um, yeah. I, sure. feel, I feel like if 
Polar Bear and Smug can get advantages top lane, and like Noble can kind of just chill mid lane. Like they can win the series, and I think I feel like that's how they win the series. Just looking at like match results, because it, it does seem like they're top in jungle or like the strong points of their team. Um, so I think if they can do that and like somehow keep Canada from getting advantages in other lanes, like they could they could pull it out. I don't hate feathers. I love <laughs> feathers. <laughs> <laughs> but like I also I haven't seen them well I guess they did play against each other but I didn't see them play against each other um, I don't know like I know Feathers like plays a lot with Urgot so if he gets a lot I, mean, I mean, but... mean if Feathers gets a lot he's winning lane like there's no doubt that he's going to win if he gets a lot um, I've never seen his Urgot though so I don't know as much about his Urgot but Feathers Feathers knows I like him you can't I definitely think it's a, an even series but just going off past history, the Rampage Open Finals usually never go five games. That's it's always true. either the three or three one. So. But let's hope it tomorrow it does. Yeah. Even, even though it'll be a really hard series, if it goes five <laughs> games, it might just depend on who is left. Might tired go to midnight. <laughs> it'll go, I think it would go past. Oh midnight. my god! Yeah, I have people at like I have people at plus four from PST, so they're gonna be exhausted. Yeah. So if it goes to game five, it might might depend on who's less tired. Who has, who, has, who has the mental strength to win game five? <laughs> it goes to game five. All right, well, we're going to wrap it up there. Like I said, tomorrow at 8.15 EST, it is TMP versus FBI for Rampage Open Finals. Tune in. Let's get 100 viewers for Feathers and Smug and Wrath. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and if you're looking for other games this weekend, we also have Dom Open Finals and Dom Pre Finals. So Dom Open Finals Saturday at eight o'clock. I think they're starting an hour late, and then Dom Pre is on Sunday at four four EST. Who's playing? So Dom Open is Arctic Ops versus Thunderbirds mm -hmm. on Saturday, and then Sunday Dom Pre is Team 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 versus Mo's Gate Bar at four EST. Nice. So lots of good team names, and should be fun series. I hope I hope they're not blowouts though. I feel like with these teams, like they could be blowouts. For, <laughs> yeah. Especially for open and I don't know, maybe less open. Dom Pre, I, I think, might could be a blowout. I feel like Dom, yeah, Dom Pre made has a pretty good chance of going three zero, and unfortunately not in the favor of Moe's. Yeah, I don't think it's but... in the favor of Moe's. Open, I feel like Neath could carry his team. He, he maybe he can strike back against Archie Goffs. and then tomorrow I feel like it could be a toss up. I feel like tomorrow could could be the closest out of the three. Yeah, I think so as well. Could be. So it should be a good series. Um, well, thanks for joining me, guys. And thanks for watching, everyone. Um, look for the announcement tomorrow. And uh, we'll see you then. Bye.